Just think, your own elder sisters never let you talk to any girl. Something like this happens in our today's story. The story begins with a six-year-old boy named Jackson who loved a girl from his class. One day, he took the marriage certificate and went to her and asked her to sign it. When the girl refused, Jackson gave her two movie tickets to become his wife. The girl signed the ticket but went to watch the movie with another boy. Unfaithful. Such a bad trail. Even six-year-old girls are becoming smart. Jackson had five elder sisters who took care of him a lot. When he broke his heart, they swore to protect him from the girl's clutches for the rest of his life. Fifteen years after this incident, Jackson is now 21 years old. But still, he has nothing called freedom. His five elder sisters, the youngest being Lily, was in his class. The second sister, Violet, who was a good archer, used to make Jackson do her work based on her archery skills. The third sister, Heaven, was a hacker who could easily hack any computer. She had hacked the security system of Jackson's school so that she could keep an eye on her brother. The eldest sister, Melody, was a teacher in Jackson's school. His eldest sister, Sarah, was the angriest and the whole family was scared of her. His parents separated a long time ago, and since then, all the sisters started taking care of each other. One day, Jackson got tired of following his sisters. His friends made him a suit so that he could hide easily. By mistake, Jackson got stuck in the girl's locker, but a new girl, Ming, caught him and took him to the principal. Jackson had no problem getting into trouble. He just didn't want his sisters to know. In the evening, he was afraid that the school might have told his sisters about it. But when no one told him anything at home, he breathed a sigh of relief. Suddenly, during dinner, Melody asked him, What were you looking for in the girl's locker, son? Then everyone's eyes went to the eldest sister, Sarah, who was angry. After this, all the sisters dragged Jackson to the ground and hung him upside down. Then the questioning began, What were you doing in the girl's locker, you bastard? I can't live without a girl. I'm getting too young. Actually, they had forbidden Jackson from meeting any girl so that no one could break his heart again. They didn't want him to settle down. According to his sisters, this was the best way. He wouldn't meet any girl, and his heart wouldn't break. Simple. But that day, Jackson replied the opposite for the first time and said, Why don't you let me see the girl? All our friends have girlfriends. Do you know how much it hurts me to see them? Finally, Sarah said calmly that if Jackson finds a girl who has the abilities of all his sisters, then he can make her his girlfriend, and she would have no objection. Although it was very difficult, Jackson accepted the challenge. The next morning, he started writing on a piece of paper, find a girlfriend, find a girlfriend. His friend advised him to talk to that new girl, Ming, because she helps everyone. Then they realized that Ming actually helped those people who didn't really need help. Basically, she ruined people's work. Jackson agreed to make her his girlfriend, but he didn't know how to talk to girl. Then his friend went as a messenger and went to Ming, praising Jackson. He said that Jackson's sisters were tormenting him, which annoyed him greatly. He asked Ming to save him. Hearing this, Ming felt pity for him. Ming went to talk to him, but at the same time, someone spread the rumor that a wild bear had attacked the children. Jackson started saving everyone as a hero, but later found out that it was a fake bear. The fake bear pushed him down the stairs and he was taken to the hospital. When he woke up, Ming was with him. Although the idea of the bear didn't work, Ming still agreed to be his friend. Then, two of Jackson's sisters came there and started scolding him for not taking care of himself. Seeing this, Ming got angry and asked them to stop. His sisters were surprised when Ming said that she was Jackson's girlfriend. Hearing this, Jackson went crazy with joy. Then his sisters went home and asked if he really had a girlfriend. Our brother Jackson smiled but did not answer. Intelligent people don't answer such trivial questions. But when Sarah asked him, he had to tell her about Ming. The sisters hung him upside down again because they didn't believe him. The bastard is getting too forward. One day he makes a girlfriend. Jackson also explained to his sisters that this was love at first sight. We locked eyes and we fell in love. But no one believed him. Then they decided to test Meng to see if she was worthy of their brother or not. The next day, Violet, Lily, and Melody went to school as if they were going to fight a war. When Jackson and Meng were together, Violet shot an arrow at Meng. But Jackson stopped the arrow just in time, and Meng started shouting at him in anger. When Violet's plan didn't work, Lily took responsibility. She gave money to the boys with the most handsome faces in the school. She wanted them to take Meng on a date and lure her away from Jackson. She wanted to prove that Meng was unfaithful, but nothing like that happened. Finally, Jackson saved Meng from the boys, and the two started running. Then Violet saw them from a distance and shot at them. Suddenly, a bomb appeared in the middle, causing a huge explosion. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Everyone wondered how the explosion had occurred. 
We then discovered that a boy was making more bombs in the chemistry lab. No one knew his intentions, but he saved Meng from Violet. Later, Jackson and Meng went to the roof to eat ice cream. It was then that Jackson discovered Meng was pretending to be his girlfriend because she believed Jackson's sister wanted to sell her kidney. Jackson still hadn't told her the truth. On the other hand, Lily and Violet returned home and explained that they hadn't completed their work. Now, Heaven took on the responsibility of teaching Ming a lesson. She obtained Ming's different videos from the school's CCTV and portrayed her as a very bad person. However, before Heaven could upload the videos on the internet, the lights went out. We saw the same chemistry lab boy outside their house, turning off the lights and saving Ming once again. However, no one knew the truth yet. The three sisters in the house then went to their elder sister, Melody. Now, Melody was responsible for getting rid of Ming. The next day, she challenged Ming to a game. First, they competed not to blink, and then they competed to catch fish. Melody won both rounds. The final round was about to begin when the eldest sister, Sarah, arrived. She challenged Ming to a hammer throw. The task involved throwing a heavy iron ball as far as possible. Using her amazing powers, Sarah sent the ball flying through the air. However, when she picked up another ball, a key fell out. It turned out to be a bomb that could explode at any time. Meng noticed this and immediately snatched the ball from Sarah. When the explosion occurred, Sarah realized that Meng had saved her life. She started to like Meng, and the other sisters also had complete faith in her. Witnessing this, Jackson started dancing happily. Afterward, Jackson and Meng began spending a lot of time together. They went to many places together, and their fake love slowly transformed into real love. As they got to know each other better, their love grew deeper. One evening, they went to an empty beach and spent the entire night together. In the morning, they embraced each other for the first time. However, there was someone watching them the whole time. It was the same chemistry lab boy. Seeing them together made him envious. The next day, when Lily opened her lunchbox, she found a bomb inside. Suddenly, a powerful explosion rocked the entire school. Jackson was unharmed, but Lily was badly injured. Ming saw Jackson and his sisters hugging each other, and she realized how much they loved one another about she left the scene with Jackson following her. However, Meng refused to speak to him. Jackson couldn't understand what was happening. One night, it was raining heavily. Jackson saw on TV that there was water everywhere. He remembered that Meng was waiting for the rain to stop at school that day. He hurriedly ran to the school and found Meng still soaked in the rain. Jackson hugged her and said, You should be like before. What's the problem? But Meng pushed him away. She revealed that she was leaving the school and told Jackson to stay away from her until she left. This was for his own good. Poor Jackson's heart was broken, and he spent the entire night drenched in the rain. The next morning, he heard someone approaching. Thinking it was Meng, he hugged the person, only to discover it was the same boy who had been making bombs. Seizing the opportunity, the boy kidnapped Jackson. That night, there was a party at the school, and everyone was enjoying themselves. However, Meng sat alone, feeling sad. Jackson's sisters were also worried because Jackson had been missing since the previous day. They made several attempts to find him and discovered that his phone was nearby. Suddenly, a masked man appeared on stage. He had kidnapped Jackson and tied him to a rocket. When questioned about why he hated Jackson so much, he revealed that nobody had ever paid attention to him and he had no friends. He fell in love with Ming at first sight and saved her from Jackson's sisters. However, Ming chose Jackson instead. Consequently, he wanted revenge on Jackson for taking Ming away from him. In his anger, he pressed the button on the rocket. Jackson's sisters Ming and their friends tried to catch the rocket, but they could only watch as it soared into the sky. Before it took off, Jackson professed his love for Ming in front of everyone. Finally, the rocket exploded, and Jackson appeared to die in the blast. Afterward, we see Ming standing at a grave. As she planted a flower, Jackson suddenly appeared. He had actually survived the explosion but his hand was injured. The grave belonged to Ming's mother. Jackson's sisters then arrived and started bothering him, just like before. A comment about how much they loved their brother or sister appeared below the video.